Hey y'all. Before we start, I just want to show you something. Oh. This is Clementine. She's helping. Okay. It's been a while. You may remember back when we used to go to school, you would ask me, stop. You would ask me every day, Miss Hall, how do you make these? And I would just not tell you because I'm mean. Well, today we're going to change that, except we're not going to make this exact kind of bird. Because this is really hard to make. Even for grown-ups, this is hard to make. It'd be extra, extra hard to make for non-grown-ups. So instead, we're going to make this. Similar, not quite as flashy, but it's still a bird. And it is way easier to make. This is a swan. This is a crane. Cranes are a pain. Swans are not. Now, that's not to say this will be super easy for everybody, especially the first time. Keep practicing. It's okay if you don't get it. Just try. Try your best. We are going to start with a square piece of paper. You don't have to have fancy paper. I just have fancy paper so you can see which side I'm using. As you can see, the white side is different from the pink side. Now, the first step, as you can see, I've already done this because this is my second time trying to make this video, but the phone rang. The first step is to take two opposite corners. So not the corners next to each other, but the corners across from each other. You're going to bring them together so you have a triangle and you're going to squish it so it is folded. Now you're going to open it back up. How crazy is that? And you are going to, I'm going to hold it this way so you can see what I'm doing. This is kind of like making a paper airplane. If you've ever made a paper airplane, you're going to take the side like this and you're going to bring it in to that line in the middle. So hang on a second. I don't have a table for this. Isn't that so sad? I really do not have a spot to do this. So you're going to fold. You're going to take the corner and you're going to bring it in to the middle so that the edge goes right along that line. And that might make not might not make a ton of sense. So if I can figure out how, I'm going to try to like add a picture of how to do this. But then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. And it's going to look kind of like a kite. So now we have this janky kite thing. Now we're going to flip it over, holding it this way, I guess, and do the same thing, but backwards. So we're doing the same thing we just did, but with this shape now. So, folding the side into the middle, and then doing the same thing on this side. This can be a little bit tricky, especially trying to make it straight. And if your swan comes out a little lumpy, that's totally fine. We all make lumpy swans. That's just life. Now, we have this. We have this weird zigzaggy thing going on at the bottom here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half. And I've got this tip coming all the way down to this tip. So it's right down the middle. And then we're going to take this tip again and we're going to fold it up a little. Now we have almost got a swan, but look at it, it's all flat, it's squashed. So this is kind of tricky. We're going to take it like this and Fold it. Mine's lumpy. That's fine. And we're going to grab its neck. This is the neck. Squish it up. Then grab its face. This is its face. This is the beak. And squish that up. Now we have a swan-like creature. Yours might not have come out just like mine. Mine certainly didn't come out perfect. That's fine. Perfection isn't real. It's made up. But... That is how we make a swan. 
So, see y'all later, hopefully, if we ever get back to school.